Thanks a lot, Marvel. Now I have to review two of your projects. Thor Love and Thunder was directed by Taika Waititi and stars Chris Hemsworth, Tessa Thompson, Christian Bale, and Natalie Portman. This film is the new film of the MCU and one of the two MCU projects that we'll be reviewing today because, well, there's been a lot happening since I was last on YouTube and man, the MCU has released quite a few projects lately and Thor Love and Thunder is one of them and I wanted to talk about this film first, so let's get into it. When it comes to Thor Love and Thunder, I would say I can't really talk about this movie without addressing the other film in the room, and that is Thor Ragnarok. And when it comes to Thor Ragnarok, I truly think it's one of my favorite MCU films. Just like a good top three, if not top two MCU film. I think I love Thor Ragnarok more than the average person. But when it came to this movie, I was excited. I thought this was going to be the MCU film of the year. The film to finally bring me back to that one true greatness of the MCU, that one film that made me actually feel like the MCU had something going for it, and it was actually great, but my god, I'm a little disappointed with this movie. Now, I still think this movie's good, but not Thor Ragnarok good. But first off, I want to talk about the good and bad. Okay, let's talk about the good first, okay, because there's actually kind of a lot of good here. Okay, the first off being the visual flair. The visual flair in this movie by Taika Waititi is fantastic. I love his style and, like, his unique sensibility. I just like the way he uh, directs and writes his movies. I think he does a great job here, but sometimes there are times where it kind of gets clunky in the script department, but, my God, I do think he does a great job here with the, like, the sets and everything. Well, should I say sets of green screens because there was some noticeable stuff there. The next thing being my personal favorite thing in the movie, and that was Gore the God Butcher. He it was awesome in this movie, and he was played by my boy Christian Bale. I thought he was fantastic in this movie. He was pretty much uh, the thing like lifting up this movie whenever the film kind of felt very low. It, he was like the thing lifting this movie up to the highest high, and I truly think he's like a good top five MC villain, if not top three. He was really good in this movie. Christian Bale gave it his all. I was really impressed by him, but I do feel like there's like a good 20 minutes of this film missing where we could have gotten more from Gore the God Butcher. I'm still happy with what we got, but I feel like we could have gotten more. Uh, yeah, so the next good thing being was uh, Natalie Portman and Chris Hemsworth's dynamic here. I do think they play off each other very well. I do like what kind of relationship in this movie. It was funny at times, especially with kind of like the flashbacks. I laughed a couple of times at this movie with them, and I do think uh, Natalie Portman did a good job as Mighty Thor. I thought she was fun at times. At times, she kind of felt a little bit, just a little bit uh, clunky. Uh, just just with her lines. There were a couple times with her lines where I was like, uh, but that was like a couple of times. Other than that, she was really good in, good in this movie and I was really impressed by it. Thumbs up to that. But now on to the bad. The bad in this movie is most of the jokes. Most of the jokes in this movie kind of suck. And that is not a good thing, especially when it comes to Taika Waititi. He's really known for making some good funny movies, even when it's not trying to be funny, like dark comedies like Jojo Rabbit. And even Thor Ragnarok. I do like the use of jokes in this movie, because when it comes to the jokes in Thor Ragnarok, it does have a lot of jokes, but it knows when to not have jokes in some scenes, and I appreciate that in that film. In this movie, it's joke mania. In fact, there's a terrible joke in this movie about screaming goats for some reason. Yeah. Do you remember when that was funny, like, 15 years ago? I, 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 hate the, I hate the goats in this movie. Just please get them out of here. Yeah, but overall, there's a lot of bad here as well. And another bad thing in this movie I found 
was kind of the lack of usage of Valkyrie. Because when it comes to Valkyrie, I actually truly think she was a cool character in Thor Ragnarok and in Endgame a little bit. But in this movie, I kind of felt like she was kind of weak sauce in this movie. She kind of felt underutilized because when... Okay, so spoilers here, but there's... Okay, you if you have not seen the movie, you should definitely go watch it before you watch this video. I should have addressed that. But... In, in the movie, she gets stabbed, and then she's just ru she just gets rights out of the movie. And I'm sitting here like, what? What the heck? Well, why is she run out of the movie? She she's a cool character. She just gets stabbed, and then she's gone for the rest of the movie. And I was kind of disappointed with that because I truly really think Valkyrie is a good character, and they did a great job with her in Thor Ragnarok. But man, I'm kind of disappointed with what they did with her here. But, but overall, I did like Thor Ragnarok. Thor Ragnarok is a good movie. I'm going to give Thor Ragnarok a 8 out of 10. Moving on to the next MCU project, though, is Miss Marvel, the new MCU TV show. A couple of months after Moon Knight, which that gratefully disappointed me, I will say Miss Marvel is good. But it's still not amazing. So, while I did like most of the stuff in this show, there's just a lot of stuff in this movie that, I mean TV show, that holds it back from being good. Uh, one of the things being, uh, okay, the, okay, the story kind of falls flat during like the final like few episodes. There's a lot I like in this show, but there's so much holding it back from being great. Like, I do think this has a great cast in it, especially with Amon Falani as Miss Marvel. I do think she does a good job in this show, and some of the other actors did a great job, too. But one of the things I did not like was the villains for, like, the first half of the show, which were terrible. Like, uh, like at times when they weren't even in the show, I forgot their existence completely. I was like, oh, they're also in this. But another thing that I didn't really like in the show was the hilariously bad effects. Marvel has been doing this thing recently where their effects look awful. And I mean awful. And this show, at times I thought I was looking at gooey blur. And that, that's not good. <laughs> But there's also a lot of good to be had in this show and a lot of fun to be had with it. I do think this show does a good job at appealing to like teenagers and what goes on through this perspective. And it does a good job of doing that. And I do think they did a good job capitalizing on that for like the first two episodes. That's how long they spend on that. But I do think uh, Amon Valani does a good job in this. But one thing I didn't like was... The fact that Captain Marvel is her hero. Now, when it comes to people idolizing people in other movies, I'm usually fine with it. But in this movie, I'm not. Because Captain Marvel in the AMCU is just one of the most unlikable characters they have ever made. And I stand by that because she is so unlikable. And they totally messed her up in the Captain Marvel movie. And it's one of the reasons why I'm not excited for the Marvels. And... Uh, I just can't deal with that. But other than that, I do really like Miss Marvel. I thought it was a great show, and I was really impressed by it. I'm going to give Miss Marvel an 8 out of 10. Wow. Two 8 out of 10s in one video. That's kind of weird. But, yeah. That's it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you guys really enjoyed my quick double review here of both of the... MCU projects that were released this month. Okay, as always guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope to see you guys next time for another video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and peace, and take care.